thanks for watching another episode of Answering the Call. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship, and we're highlighting ministries that are working all around the world, and they're serious about doing just that. Today, we're in Beaverton, Oregon, right outside of Portland, visiting Good Samaritan Ministries, and with me is the executive director, Teresa Stroop. Teresa, thank you so much for spending some time with our viewers. Thank you for having me. So, Good Samaritan, I think everybody's heard about the Good Samaritan. Tell us a little about the ministry and how you got involved. The ministry of Good Samaritan Ministries here in Beaverton has been here 43 years. Uh, I got involved by really needing someone to help me train people who wanted to learn how to give their lives away and be Good Samaritans. Mm -hmm. We have counseling and classes and groups. We offer services at no cost. We are a people who have agreed to pay the whole price for the healing of the broken in this world. And we train others who come along um, to do the same thing, to go and do likewise. So when we talk about the vision or the mission or the heartbeat of Good Samaritan Ministries, how would you describe it? It's training people to give their lives away in such a way that others become whole. Most of us came into the ministry pretty broken ourselves and found hope and healing. Amen to that. I mean, it's, it really is uh, sacrificial. We talked a little bit about that last night over dinner. The unique thing here is that we turn no one away. Mm -hmm. And we are really reliant completely on the Holy Spirit to yeah. give us wisdom and show us what to do. Mm -hmm. We have um, a real increase in child abuse. Suicide rates are tripled now in our mm -hmm. area. We're seeing a lot of very desperate people. Where do they go? Yeah. Where someone's not going to charge them money they don't have. Where do they go to find someone who will just care with them? Mm -hmm. and walk with them, and that's really what we're here for. Well, we're supposed to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ, right? And that's what that looks mm -hmm. like. It's life on life. And now is the time for God's people to really answer that call. And, and again, mm -hmm. I've heard it said uh, that God is the source and people are His resources. So you're exactly. looking for some more good Samaritans to join the cause and get involved with you guys. We're 95% volunteers here. Mm -hmm. We have five staff people that run this or whole organization. Everyone else is volunteers, and we just pay a few administrative staff. And especially now it's challenging with a lot of this COVID restrictions. People are, are separated and they're lonely. So praise God he's raised you up for, for such a time as this, um, to be his hands, his feet, and his voice. And um, hey, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews from some of the staff, some of the volunteers here at Good Samaritan Ministries in Beaverton, Oregon, so you can see how they're answering the call and you too can possibly get involved and partner with a ministry like this. Keep watching. I define the word Samaritan as a Christian in action. But it's really important for everyone to know that a Samaritan is not someone seeking a coin for themselves, but giving a coin for their neighbor. The parable of the Good Samaritan. That a, a Samaritan is someone who is willing to pay the price for another person's healing. Good Samaritan Ministries is a place where you can come and you are accepted with love. Uh, you're not judged, but where also healing takes place and lives get changed. They're being changed one person at a time. Good Samaritan Ministries is about reaching out to the, the lonely, the poor, the brokenhearted, the throwaways, the people that nobody wants, that people have rejected. And this is a place where, where people can come and be accepted and find family. I come here for help. I come here for, for counsel. I come here for insight. I come here to find out who God really wants me to be. Um, I come here for my marriage. I, I come here because my wife and I have found that by coming here, we get to learn about each other a lot better. We come here to not only know where we are supposed to be with each other, but how we together are supposed to be with God. And to let God's work and His love work through every single one of us. And to just know that when you are being prayed for, it's, it's literally coming from their hearts 
because God's working through every single one of them. I am the International Program Development Director, which means I'm in charge of the training, primarily the Counselor Training Program, which is a three-year training program. But we're in so many places now that we need to have materials that they can have in hand. The first question is, are you called to be a Samaritan, a Christian in action? Are you tired of the words you hear everywhere? Are you interested in becoming on fire with the heat of action? We have all kinds of volunteer opportunities. We believe that the Lord inspires people and um, brings them to give in the ways that they need to. Prayer first and foremost, that's obviously the most powerful way to support it. But to become involved in it, just do it. <laughs> God sends people in and, and He calls each one of us in different ways to go and do likewise. It's needed in this community very, very much, especially with everything that's going on in this world right now. We always need prayer. They could call, they could get on our website, they can help us financially, they can get on our Facebook page, they can get on our YouTube. You will start to see miracles coming in and checking out Good Samaritan Ministries. Lots of lives will be changed because your life will be changed.